This is part 12 in my InShot video editor series. Do you want to use your own photos as stickers and create frames like this? Or this? I can show you how. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're looking for technology tips, tricks, and tutorials, you've come to the right place. If you find this video helpful, subscribe. I reached out to a popular YouTuber on Twitter who gave me perhaps the best advice I've received since starting my channel. He said to find a way to use the app that no one has yet. I believe I've done that. Let's take a look at how to use your own photos as stickers and create custom photo frames. Open InShot and select a photo. This photo should be the one you intend to use as the photo frame. When the photo loads, tap on Filters, select Effects. and then choose the blur effect. This will blur out the entire photo. Tap the check mark. Now select the stickers icon. That's the smiley face. Now tap on the little photo icon and select the photo that you want to place on top of the background. If you saw my last video, you'll recognize this photo. You can pinch and zoom to resize the photo to make it big enough to fit onto the background. Long press and drag the photo to reposition it. Try your best to get it as centered as possible. When you're done resizing and positioning the photo, tap the check mark. Then tap the share icon. The photo will now be found inside your camera roll. Here's the photo I just saved. Let's take a look at one more example. Tap the photo icon and choose a photo to be used as the photo frame. This one looks good. Next, tap the filters icon. Then select effect and choose blur. Long press on the filter to increase or decrease the amount of blur. Use the slider provided. Move the slider to the left to decrease the blur and to the right to increase the blur. Since this is my photo frame, I want a certain amount of blur, but I want to be able to see the Christmas lights in the background. Move the slider to the left to decrease the amount of blur, and to the right to increase it. When you've got the amount of blur that you want, Tap on the check mark. Tap the check mark again. Tap the stickers icon and choose the photo that you want to frame. This photo will be placed on top of the background.
You can pinch and zoom to resize the photo. Pull your fingers apart to make the photo bigger and pinch to make the photo smaller. When you've got the photo where you want it, tap the check mark. To save the photo, tap the share icon. The photo will be found in your camera roll. Here's the photo I just saved. Notice the frame around it. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have a problem with any part of this process, leave a comment below so I can help you. Don't forget to click that thumbs up if you liked the video. Coming up, I'll show you how to add text to photos and videos. Please feel free to check out some of my other videos suggested on screen. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.